Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cook Stacy Cook. Today we are making Taiwanese braised pork rice. In Taiwan, this is a dish served everywhere, from street vendors to five-star hotels. Let's take a look at how you can make this very delicious dish at home. This is all the ingredients we need today. We will go over them as we cook. The complete list is in the description. Prepare some shallots by removing the skin and chopping them like this. We will use them to make fried shallots. Using one cup of oil, we will slowly deep fry the shallots over medium low heat. Add the shallots when the oil is cold. Let the shallots deep fry slowly. You will see the bubbles change from large to small as the moisture in the shallot evaporates. We will need to stir them frequently as the color starts to get golden. When the color is like this, we need to remove them from the oil. The shallot oil is very useful. We can use it in fried rice, chow mein, vegetables, or making dim sum. Now add some shallot oil in a pot over medium high heat. We will saute the pork until they are slightly brown. I am using diced pork belly here. You can use any cut of pork that comes with some fat. Brown pork is a good choice. I have previously boiled and then washed the pork I am using. This is not necessary if you are using ground pork or pork that is not previously frozen. Boiling the pork before sautéing get rid of excess water in the pork. It makes sautéing easier and faster. When the pork is slightly brown like this, we can add some rice wine. You can find cooking rice wine easily in most supermarkets in the U.S. now. You can also use dry sherry as a substitute. After the alcohol has evaporated, we can add some sugar. Sugar helps to caramelize the pork and balance the soy sauce we will use. A couple of minutes after the sugar has melted, we can add the spice. We will add ginger, garlic, five spice powder. If you don't have five spice powder, you can use one star anise, one bay leaf, and one cinnamon stick as a substitute. And some white pepper powder. Cook until you can smell the flavor of the spice. Then add the soy sauce. We use both regular soy sauce and dark soy sauce. The dark soy sauce will enhance the color. I am adding hard-boiled eggs here to braise with the pork. They are not a must-have in this dish, but they pair very well with the braised pork rice. My family loves these braised eggs. Now add some hot water and the fried shallots. Cover the lid and cook over medium high heat for 10 minutes. Then turn the heat to low and simmer for 45 minutes. After cooking for 45 minutes, the pork can be served as it is now. But the egg don't have enough flavor yet. I always let everything marinate in the pot for at least 8 hours. This is what it looks like the next morning. Bring the pot back to a boil and you are ready to serve. Look at this. It smells so good. Let's cut open one of the eggs. A proper braised egg is firmer than a hard boiled egg and has shrunken slightly in size. Notice the color gradient in the egg white here. If the color has not penetrated into the egg white, the eggs are still not ready. Pour the braised pork with its sauce over a bowl of white rice. It's so rich and juicy. 
I wish you can smell the flavor. This is so good. I got to eat this while it is still hot. And by the way, you can serve this with noodle too. It is equally delicious. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.